Well, hello, welcome back to Brizzy. We're going to talk about background videos for your backgrounds in your blocks. But before we get into that, a quick reminder to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also give us a like for this video if you found it informative and follow us at brizzy.io. Lots of news and updates there as well. My name is JP and we are looking at the newly introduced feature for block backgrounds, which is custom URLs. And I'm going to explain to you a little bit what that is because you may not be familiar with it and you may be wondering why do I want to use it and what is the point of that? You've been looking at that now since this video started with these fireworks going off in the background. And I want to point out two things. When I loaded this page, it started immediately. And secondly, you cannot see where it starts looping. It's already looped twice or three times since I started this video and you've not noticed it. It's seamless. Let's go into Brizzy and talk a little bit about the backgrounds. I'll go you to the top where I have this Euro section. If you go to the background of the block, and we're specifically talking about blocks at this moment, you will see that we have three types of backgrounds. We have the custom one, which is an image, an overlay, or a color. Then we have video and we have map. When I select video, you get the option for the usual suspects, which is YouTube or Vimeo. And we also had previously custom video, which means you can upload it. These features and what I'm showing you are applicable for WordPress and Brizzy Cloud. We've added this URL. So let's quickly talk why you want to go this direction and maybe not any of those. YouTube is a good free platform and that's the whole point of YouTube. It's free. It works on selling advertisements to people and YouTube kind of forces that sometimes at the end of a video by having those other videos that you have to select. You remember that YouTube likes to do that. So it is possible that you're going to get a little bit of interference with that marketing purpose of YouTube when you use that as a background. Vimeo, if you use the Vimeo setting, which gives you the Vimeo share link, you may run into something also similar if you're using a free Vimeo account. However, I just want to point out, and we'll get back to this, Vimeo has pro features where you can also bring in the MP4 URL, and we'll talk about that very soon. The custom video, which you can upload to WordPress or to cloud. Just remember cloud, you cannot upload massive big videos. There is a restriction on that upload size. And then the URL. What is this? Basically what you do is you upload your video to another site and then Brizzy will go ahead and fetch that video. And this is what I've done with this one here. This is hosted on a different site and it comes onto the page so quickly. So let's see how that is going to work for you. Select the URL and all you need to do is add the link. So we talked about YouTube and we said, why maybe you don't want to go to YouTube. Then I mentioned Vimeo and basically telling you that Vimeo has awesome capabilities, but you'll need to go pro. Many of the recommendations we're going to show you have free versions, but often with the free versions, there's a little limitation here or there. You can test it out and I highly recommend that you do the trials first and all explain to you the one that I'm using, why I would say you use a trial version first and see what's going to happen. So Vimeo.com, go check that out. Another one that's been around for a while is Wistia. Wistia has brought in lower tier pricing. It used to be super expensive, unaffordable for the average person in the street like me, but they have brought in more affordable packages in the last few years. So you can go check them out as well. Affordable options, you can go check out Publicio, and there's a free version as well. That can get you very far, especially if you just want one or two videos and five gigabytes of storage. As long as you have a small looping video in the background, you're never going to reach that. This one that I have here is currently running at 220 megabytes. So there's still a lot of space left if you can get that five gigabytes of free storage. Also, you can check out Cloudinary as an alternative to the others. The one that I'm using, and I found it on AppSumo a long time ago, but in the end, I never signed up through AppSumo, is called Adilo. You can also go and check Adilo. I'll give you a tip here. Sign up for the trial. I think it's two weeks or 30 days. I forgot. During that time, they're going to send you an email with a promo for the lifetime deal at a huge discount. That's all I'm going to say, if you are interested in this kind of thing. This is the video that I've uploaded. I'm going to show you how to bring it in. You go to where you've uploaded the video in the dashboard and you have to go and look for the MP4 URL share link. 
not the common share link. The general share link that is often given to you on these sites like Vimeo takes the viewer who's clicking on the link back to the platform in which it is produced on that website. So if I just give a share link like this one up here and I put it within Brizzy, it's not going to work because the idea behind this is if someone clicks on this link here, it brings them to this interface on this platform, which is Adilo, which is what I don't want. Here is the option for share and embed. And on all these different platforms, you're going to find the share and embed. You have to look for it. I'll go to file links and you will see we have the MP4 link here, specifically the MP4. This is what you have to remember. Click on copy. I go back to Brizzy and now I paste that. It will bring it in. I'll put it on loop because that's what I want. Update. And before I click on preview, what I want you to note is that when this page loads, this video is going to load immediately. And when it's going to loop, which it already did here in the builder, it's going to do so seamlessly without a blank screen or spinning wheels. It is real fast. And that's what you want for a nice background video like this for your blog. Let's go and preview it. And my page loads uh, unnoticeable. I think there was maybe like a nanosecond there at the beginning where it was loading. You couldn't notice it. And I think this video is around 12 seconds. So let's give this a quick moment to get to the end and then jump again to the beginning and you will see and seamless. Like I said, there are no spinning wheels or a black screen or a white screen for a moment. I shot this video in the backyard, I think a few weeks ago, just beautiful how these flowers are coming out. We have recommended, we have Vimeo, we have Wistia, then we have Publicio, and then we have Cloudinary. And I've also mentioned the one that I use, Adila, which you can go check out especially if you just need a video once in a blue moon and then just play it on one website you're never going to need more than that then just go for the free versions and it will get the job done for more news on updates like these also tips like these and to stay up to date on what's happening in the world of brizzy remember to subscribe remember that like please and visit us at brizzy.io i'll see you in the next video